folks, because we have a great show coming up with some great guests and some uh, some new businesses in Milton, and we're going to talk about the boosters and about football, about uh, supporting the kids at the high school, and uh, we'll be right back. Thank you. Stay with us. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Talk of the Town. I hope you enjoyed that first section of the uh, show today with Eileen Ma. We talked a lot about football, and like I said, we we're going to have some special guests, and we have with us here the Assistant Superintendent of Schools, John Phelan, and we have the um, head of the athletic department for the Milton Public Schools and the head football coach is uh, Coach Steve Tra Tracer. Tracer. Steve Tracer. So, Steve, welcome. Thank you. John, welcome. welcome. And uh, it just so happened, you know, I did, didn't tell Eileen what we were doing for this part of the show, and all our movie reviews were on football. So, so it was a great the football show. And the air will start getting cool, and we'll be thinking of Friday Night Lights, won't we? So, listen, uh, we're here at, folks, this is a unique show, uh, but then aren't they all? <laughs> Listen, uh, we're here at the uh, Milton uh, Hill Milton Hill Sport and Spa. It's a it's an athletic club here in um, what is this section of Milton called? The Mil Lower Mills. Lower Mills. The Lower Mills in Lower Mills. In uh, uh, let me uh, help you understand how we got to where we are today. Um, I was um, riding my bike and I decided. My wife says, uh, you know, she's worried about me uh, not having the fitness, uh, being in shape that I'm supposed to be. So. I checked in, I stopped in here, and I met with some of the owners here, and I was talking to them about the club. And um, I met uh, Chief Larson, who was working out upstairs. And so the chief said, you know, you ought to have this, this place on your TV show. And so, uh, you know, being a new business in Milton. So I came down, I was talking to the owner, and I told him, you know, I was doing a show for the Boosters, because the Boosters have a big event coming up this month, which uh, John Fan will be talking about in a minute. And um, the owner said, well, gee, I, I, I might be able to help you out. So... Next thing I know, it's evolved into a show right here today, and we're going to be featuring a little bit about the uh, Milton Sport and Spa uh, because he's helping out the boosters. And then we met another business owner that owns the new Eclipse Salon. I kept calling it a saloon, but it's the salon, the, no saloon. And uh, you can't get salons approved in Milton. <laughs> it's a long process, but you can have a salon. And uh, so David Thompson is going to be on in a minute. You can uh, meet him, and he's the owner of the Eclipse Saloon across, salon across the street. So it's going to be a fun day, and we're going to talk about the event coming up. So, John, tell the folks at home what's going on with the boosters this month and what's going on over at the uh, Wollaston Golf Club. Sure. For, first, we'd like to thank Chris and Steve, the owners of the uh, spa, for hosting us for this, uh, this program today. Uh, Steve and I are here to talk about the boosters and the Student Activities Fund Golf Tournament and Tennis Tournament that will be held on uh, September 22nd. That's a Monday at Wollaston Golf Club. Uh, through the generosity of the Wallison Golf Club and Curry College, President Steve, uh, excuse me, Ken Quigley, have provided a uh, day of golf and tennis for our parents and community members and anyone who would like to play. Uh, and all the proceeds will go to the Milton High Athletics. Uh, currently, our athletic department is uh, uh, minus one hundred sixty thousand dollars. Is that all? Uh, that's all. And we are getting to. There's a slight. There's a slight shortfall. <laughs> So last year, uh, in the last few years, uh, groups of parents have uh, banded together to raise money to support uh, the sports in this town, which we feel are a very big part uh, of our community and our school and our children's lives. So uh, on the 22nd, uh, we have this tournament. Everyone who is a parent uh, of a Milton Public Schools child uh, will receive an invitation today, which is uh, Wednesday, uh, September 3rd, in the mail. Uh, a group of parents led by Cara Russo, Karen DeLuca, Peter Muse, uh, Burn Lovely and Little Sullivan, a host of parents have gotten together to put their time into this event. Uh, and Your wife's helping with the event too. Lars Bale as well. And she's, not, she's not on the payroll, is she? She's not on the payroll. Man, look at that, huh? <laughs> uh, so we, we very much appreciate the support of every uh, community member, and it's great to be here with two businesses that are ready to help out in the Lower Mills area of Milton that are just opening up uh, with the Eclipse Salon and the Milton uh, Sport and Spa. So we're, we're very for fortunate to be here today. We are, and uh, matter of fact, if you're watching this and you own a business in Milton, maybe you can follow on their lead and maybe make a contribution to the boosters. Uh, you know, um, you start seeing this concern about graffiti in a lot of the communities. I have an office in Quincy, and I've noticed an increase in graffiti just around my office building, and it's disappointing, and I would hate to see that start to happen around here. I, you don't want it to happen anywhere, but why does it happen? Maybe because people don't have anything to do. And I know because of the expenses, there are some families that don't participate. So, Steve, uh, maybe you can say something about the athletics program, and I know you're getting started with football right now. Sure. We so open up tell us a little bit about what's going on over there. Uh, well, as a whole athletic department, we have 25 varsity sports, and we also have a majority of those have sub-varsity sports as well. And like John Phelan said, we are underfunded, so we, we need to fundraise to just keep everything status quo and afloat for this year. 
um, and to run everything through the spring. Um, uh, soccer is actually starting tonight. Boys soccer is starting tonight. Girls and boys uh, soccer are starting. Uh, and bo girls soccer is starting Friday night. Volleyball is starting tonight. Football is starting Saturday. So we're ready to kick off and this event coming up in two yeah, weeks yeah, or yeah, three weeks. Three weeks right? um, and it's coming up fast. Uh, we need all the support we can, we can get. Uh, we want to keep kids Busy, engaged. like you said, and engaged and, and give them, it's an extension of their school day, and uh, there's a lot of life lessons that can be taught on the athletic fields and athletic courts, and that's what we're trying to fundraise and, and get everybody involved in to do, and the, uh, the, there's many ways you can involve yourself, I'm sure John will talk about it in a minute, in the, in the golf tournament, whether it be uh, in the auction, whether it be just coming to the dinner, whether it be uh, sponsoring a hole or participating yourself. Uh, if you're going to get involved, we'd like to have more participants than we had last year. We started it off last year with like a, a little better run this year, and I think we'll, we're off a little earlier. Uh, and, and I think we're going to have a great, uh, great, great day. That's going to raise a lot of money. So, if someone's not a golfer, they should still attend. There's a banquet after the golf tournament, correct? Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's going to have a silent auction and things like that. Absolutely. And if you're not a golfer or you're a tennis player, there's a, I think it's a doubles tournament. Um, didn't get involved in that, so I mean, it's not just a, a golf tournament. A lot of them are just golf tournaments. We've extended it to tennis tournaments, and a lot of people had a lot of fun with that as well last year. And it's a uh, Wallston Country Club is an absolutely gorgeous place to have an event like that. I think it's like twenty-five dollars for the dinner. That's very. That's unbelievable. you can't you can't go out to dinner for twenty-five dollars. No, I mean, it's, it's a great meal, and it's for a great cause. And right. We hope to have as many people involved as possible. Excellent, excellent. Uh, the folks at home, you know, it is football season. You mentioned football, soccer. Um, what other um, activities does this money help support uh, at the high school? Well, for the most part, it's going to help with the 25 uh, varsity sports. or There's 25? 25 sports wow. we have, plus the okay, go. junior Ready. varsity. 25, what are they? <laughs> Football, boys soccer. If I forget anybody, I'm in trouble. Boys soccer, girls soccer, uh, cross country with both boys and girls, volleyball, cheerleading, golf. I think that covers the fall. Field hockey in the fall, boys and girls basketball, boys and girls ice hockey, uh, boys and girls ski team, uh, wrestling, indoor and outdoor, uh, indoor and outdoor track for both in, in, in the spring and the winter. Right. Uh, God forbid I forget somebody here. No, but uh, we get, we tennis, get the baseball, there's a lot of, softball, wow, baseball, tennis, right? okay. uh, tennis uh, lacrosse, I mean, there's a field, is it field hockey? Field hockey, yeah, field I mentioned it in the fall. Okay. It comes in the fall for, it's a girl sport, winter cheerleading. Um, what are the students But there's also other now? activities. That are involved. I mean, this is going to the whole activity fund, but it's specifically oh, for the athletics. That's where we're underfunded. But any student activity, we're just trying to get kids to stay involved in any way possible. Um, what do the students have to pay now, or family pay now, to have this? Right now, to help fund the, involved in sports. To help fund the athletics right now, it is a two hundred dollar users fee for each sport. For each sport, each, it, season. each season. So if, if your son or daughter plays uh, three sports, it would be a six hundred dollar uh, investment. Um, and that's basically what it is. You know Eileen Meyer, don't you? The movie reviewer you just saw her earlier. Yes. Eileen's behind the camera. Eileen, come over here. Pick those headphones up. Come over here. <laughs> Quickly. Folks, here's Eileen's back. Eileen, yes, what did you say to me earlier? <laughs> come on, Eileen. I was saying how um, uh, we've got to do something about that because it's an awful lot of money. And when I went up to see Steve uh, to sign up both my son and my daughter, who are freshmen at the high school, it was $400 because I've got two kids, one both playing soccer. And he said, well, don't worry about it. It's a $1,000 cap. So if they play, <laughs> they play three sports, come the spring, you only have to write me a $200 yeah. cap. <laughs> very happy to hear yeah. that. Um, but there's a lot of money, and um, I'm happy to pay. I'm, I'm happy for the... It is an investment, but it's... It is I an mean, investment. You'd like to invest in something else in your kids as well. And you, know, the, you do think of the kid or the family that is just too proud to come to you and say, right. mm -hmm. we just don't have it. Right. We just don't have it, but we want it. Because I'm sure there's a couple of families. And unfortunately, we don't know a lot of those yeah. families because they don't they don't want to come to us. So we don't know how many kids we are right. losing for that that, that reason. Mm -hmm. Eileen, thank <laughs> you very much. Get back on the camera, yeah. will you? <laughs> thank you, Eileen. Brian, I just want to mention that we had uh, the governor, Deval Patrick, today at Milton High School, and he had met with parents, uh, town officials. He met with teachers and students today uh, in three or four different settings. Uh, Superintendent Gormley uh, hosted him at the high school today along with Dr. John Drotter. In every single group of uh, constituents that he met with today, from 15-year-olds to 55-year-olds, all talked about funding public schools. It was amazing to hear uh, his knowledge on the subject, uh, the work that he's doing in the state to try to provide uh, the town of Milton and other towns like Milton support. Uh, the students got right up and said, what am I going to do about this $200 user fee? And it cost me $100 to do a club. And, uh, you know, we lost 15 teachers last year. How does that happen? 
Uh, they really put him on the spot. He did a great job. He's absolutely a person who's in our corner in terms of uh, providing relief and support to taxpayers and also providing uh, quality education. Uh, every student in that room, when we asked who does a sport or a club, uh, I believe 90% of the students raised their hand. So we have an active community. We have great kids. Uh, we have great teachers. Um, we are missing this funding mechanism that seems to be a disconnect in the town right now. Uh, we met with town officials last night around the budget and uh, for this year moving forward with Kevin Murren, the select uh, the uh, administrator. administrator, and uh, Kathy Fagenbauer, one of the selectmen. So uh, the town is really trying to move forward on how we can fund everything in the town that we need to service our community. Uh, and, and in the meantime, the parents of this town has, have always raised uh, the money and stepped up to the challenge, and we hope they can do so again this year uh, to benefit all the kids in Milton. So September 22nd, all uh, you have to do is call Milton Public Schools. We can give you the information. Uh, there's an invitation going home to every Milton Public School uh, family. Uh, it's on our website, www.miltonps.org. Uh, the invitation is there in color for you to click on and get the information. And we're also uh, offering banners to be uh, hung uh, in the uh, Brooks Field outside for the fall and the spring season. Uh, and also inside the brand new uh, Copeland Fieldhouse. What, banners that businesses can hang? Is yeah, that what you're saying? So, so a business can, can, span, can sponsor a banner. Okay. Yeah, well, inside and outside. We had the option outside last year for the okay. spring and the uh, fall. Now we're going to uh, have that Good. opportunity to advertise for all the indoor. Fabulous. Yeah, fabulous. You should talk to people at Edline and see if you can put some uh, banner ads on Edline and collect a fee for it. So that's something that we said. Yeah, we talked about that as well. But it, it, it coincides with transitioning to the support that we have here in the, uh, in the, in the room. In Speaking the of that, Steve, if you could excuse me for a minute, I want to invite um, Chris Oro Oroso, I believe Oroso. is correct. Steve, come over here. Chris, I mean, come over here. This is uh, Chris Oroso. Chris, welcome on. Talk of the town. Thank you. Hey, Chris is one of the partners in the Milton Hill Sport and Spa here in the uh, lower mill section of Milton. And uh, I was in, again, taking a look at the place and he, we could start talking about the boosters, and he stepped up to the plate. And uh, tell the folks what you're going to do to help the boosters out today. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for having me on your program and for the support that uh, you guys have provided for Milton Hills Sport and Spa. And we are going to donate uh, two memberships, the the ones that can be uh, for the silent auction. Uh, whatever nice. money you guys uh, collect from from those memberships goes to to the boosters. At Milton Hill Sport and Spa, we are raising our awareness of uh, healthy living through exercise. And it, it is very important to start at a very early age. So if we invest in our children, uh, what better than to have a healthier town, uh, have healthier people, people who are healthier, who exercise on a regular basis, most likely a happier people, they feel better about themselves, and if we do not support our kids, who will? Mm -hmm. So if we want good things to happen in our town, I think that we have to start with our kids. And education is essential. That's why at Milton Hill Sport and Spa, we invite everybody, all their business owners, to join and to, not only to join the club, of course. <laughs> hey, I like that. <laughs> but we invite them to join the efforts of uh, the school systems. Uh, let's support our kids uh, to make things better for our town. Excellent. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much, Chris. Appreciate it. I'm going to show some uh, slides. I got some pictures from Chris. I'm going to show some slides of this facility. It's, a, it's just a gorgeous facility. Uh, I talk about clean. I mean, if you're concerned about cleanliness, this place is immaculate. And so if you haven't been down here, uh, how long have you had the ownership of this facility? Uh, we opened March 31st of this year. So we're going... Uh, this is your first fall season. Yes. That's the time that people start getting indoor. You know, they, they're not going to... Getting, much getting ready for the, the holidays. Mm -hmm. So come down and support your local businesses. It's a great opportunity to meet the owners. I'm sure he'll give you a great, uh, let, you, let you use it for a day or two, see if you like it, and uh, I'm sure you'll be pleased. I know uh, Chief Lawson, you can call him, he spoke highly of it. So, And who's your other partner? We have uh, Steve. Steve Harlow, why don't you come over here, yeah, Steve? this is my partner, Stephen Harlow, and actually, he, he wanted, yeah, we can squeeze him here. He wanted to uh, offer something for, for the town employees. We always get a lot of support uh, from the selectmen especially from Kathy Fagan. Uh, we would like to thank her. If, Kathy, if you're watching the show, you have been a great help to us, a great asset to the town. And we discussed with them giving the town employees uh, some discount, but Stephen can tell you more about it. Thank you. Uh, yes, and, and again, Kathy has been very instrumental in helping us get a lot of things done and putting together a package for 
uh, Town of Milton employees, uh, we're offering a discount uh, for all employees and uh, with the uh, annual memberships and also the monthly memberships are uh, at a great, it's greatly reduced price. So they just come in and they make sure they tell whoever they speak to at the desk that they're a Town of Milton employee? Absolutely. And that, except, you know, especially if that goes back to uh, the teachers as well. Oh, so well, the teachers are happier. They'll teach better. And if they're healthy, healthy yeah, that's they'll right. be healthy. Yeah. And, they're a good example um, to the kids. Right. And, right. and also the teachers are all, uh, my mother is a teacher for 32 years, and I know the teachers are very involved uh, before, during, and after school. And I know they're also involved with the boosters mm -hmm. and a lot of the athletics. So. Excellent. Well, thank you both very much. Uh, folks, I hope you enjoyed the slideshow we're going to put together on this. Uh, we have another businessman, a friend of these gentlemen, that when I was here, that he came in and uh, he owns the Eclipse uh, sal salon across the street. So I want you to meet David Thompson. So thank you, gentlemen. David, if you'd come over and join us. Very much. Thank you very much. Hello. Welcome, David. Hello, hello. Thank you for being here. So uh, I, I went on your website. Uh, yeah, I know. I was hoping you, but you can't get a salon approved in Milton. <laughs> but um, you, your place you used to be at Newbury Street, is that yes. correct? Yes, we opened. I opened my salon in October of 1988 on Newbury Street, and it would have been 20 years this coming October. But I love this area over here, and since Stephen and Chris are making everybody healthy. I figured I might as well make everybody pretty. <laughs> so <laughs> we have a full service salon. We offer uh, full ha uh, hair care, skin care, facials, waxing, manicure, pedicure, uh, all the everything. So anybody who needs to get pretty can just come on over. Uh, what, what's, the, what's the website for your uh, salon? salon? It, it's actually EclipseSalonBoston.com because we haven't switched the Boston up yet. But okay, it, it'll soon be Milton. Yeah, Make sure you give us a call. Put it in the yeah, it's right next to the hardware store. Mm -hmm. What better place? <laughs> you can salon in the hardware store. Yeah. And you do. Uh, what else do you do? I know here they um, they do massages. Here they have a tannin. one of those tanning sprays. You know, it's you know instant tan. You know, they dip you in a they dip you in a bucket or something. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's spray. We, we don't okay. do any dipping, but we refer people over here to get dipped. They, but they we get dipped do, over here. We do reflexology and uh, facials, What's waxing, it Reflex? reflexology. What's that? It's a type of massage. Uh, Plus, okay. Yes, okay. body work, body work, and uh, full service hair, color cut, foils, um, the the works, works. I was talking to David. We might have to have a show in the future. We'll call it the Milton Makeover. The Milton Makeover. <laughs> but we appreciate you supporting the boosters. Thank you. Also. And I have a, um, a gift certificate for um, the options off for you. Excellent. So very so nice. Thank you. Well, on, on behalf of the Milton Schools and uh, the the behalf of the Milton Schools and the Boosters and the Student Activities Fund, uh, we'd like to thank Chris and David and, uh, and Stephen for their support. Uh, to all the parents, uh, make sure you come down and, and use uh, your money locally. There's a lot of great opportunities out here in Willow Mills and East Milton Square for us to spend our money locally and to support the local business owners. And as you can see, they're supporting the public schools in the town. So we appreciate uh, all your help on behalf of the students of Milton Public Schools. We're, we're going to make you all healthy and beautiful. Excellent. Sounds, Sounds good. good. you asked for? <laughs> <laughs> and your mail letter at the same time. Okay, David, we're looking at some pictures of your uh, your new salon. Tell us a little bit. So about we're located at 64 Adams Street in yeah. Milton on the corner of Adams and Wharf. Uh, plenty of street parking around the side and around the back. Uh, it's a full-service salon. There's um, We have nine stylists who work a rotating schedule, two manicurists, and an esthetician who does skin care, facials, waxing, reflexology, um, ear candling. And what's, what's ear candling? Ear candling is a, <laughs> it's a, candle it's a process <laughs> that the Egyptians started. They take a hollow wax candle and they gently insert it in your ear on your side and they light the end of it and it, as it melts down it creates a vacuum that draws all the impurities out of your, your inner ear canal. Wow. Yeah, wow. it's very cool. It's very relaxing, very soothing. And we do manicures and pedicures. Hair and removal? Uh, hair removal, yeah, waxing. Yep, we do it all. Well, hey, well, very good. And you were how many years over at Newbury Street? We were 20 years on Newbury Street. And I've been in, in Back Bay uh, for 31. Now, which folks, is amazing they, since I'm only 27. <laughs> but I know I have that pretty You, you look really good. <laughs> <laughs> so if, you're, um, if people go to the Boosters event, you gave a donation, right? They might be able to get something and come down I, to your place with a yes, gift certificate, right? I gave right? them a, gift, a donation right. of a gift certificate for $100 that, that can be used for any service in the salon. Excellent. So whatever you want to have, from uh, eyebrow wax to uh, 
uh, body massage or uh, highlighting or cut or color or whatever you'd like. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for helping the boosters. It was my pleasure. Bye-bye. A little bit about the place while I'm showing the folks at home some pictures. Go ahead. Uh, at Milton Hill Sport and Spa, we are a health and fitness club equipped with the most innovative exercise equipment there is in the market. We have courteous staff, elite personal trainers, professional fitness consultants, and a state-of-the-art facility. As you can tell, right now we're looking at the women's locker room. That's the lounge. That's Gigi, my little dog, who you get to see very often at the club. Uh, here we provide with medical scales for the ladies to weigh themselves. I know they don't like to do that, but we provide with that. Uh, we have hair dryers for them. Uh, that's the entrance to the spa where we offer uh, massage therapy and other body services. We also have a tanning salon with the latest in uh, tanning technology and skin rejuvenation, spray tanning. Right now we're looking at the men's uh, lockers room and it's extremely clean. Uh, we try to uh, keep the facility very clean, very comfortable uh, for our members to feel at home. Uh, and what a better place to hang out uh, than a health club where they are going to get uh, fit when they, they are going to get healthier. Uh, we feature a specialized circuit room where all the equipment is beginner friendly with easy to follow directions and a traffic light that guides you through exercise. Our indoor Kaiser cycling bikes come with their own personal computer to, tra uh, to track the trainee's progress. We offer over 25 group fitness classes a week, in, which are included in the membership, from yoga, Zumba, Pilates, step aerobics, boot camp, spinning. And in the strength room, we feature the newest weight and resistance equipment with neoprene dumbbells, barbells. And it was also built with a special rubber flooring that makes the place odorless. It helps us to keep it clean. You can see the beauty of our equipment. Right now we're looking at the strength room with all the dumbbells and top of the line equipment that you won't find in any other club in the Boston area. Uh, Milton last year, I don't know if you remember, was number seven to live in the nation. So what a better place to have uh, world-class services. And we are uh, town residents, Stephen Harlow, my partner and myself. We, had, we have a vested interest in their community. So we want to have nice things around here. And that's why it's very important for us to support education in Milton because we are part of Milton. We live in Milton and we want this town to to remain where it is and to improve and for our kids to to have the support that they require. If we do not support our kids, uh, I think a town with delinquents and vandalism is a bad town. So Milton is pretty good and I think we should keep it that way. Uh, right now we're looking at the lounge area and an old picture of the uh, Webb's Milk, which was part uh, in the 1800s of the historic chocolate factory. Well, Chris, thank you very much. That was a great uh, uh, make an effort to get down here and check it out. So uh, fantastic. Thank you for being on the show today. Thank you for su supporting the Milton Boosters and we'll look forward to... Uh, coming down and working out here soon. Uh, you're welcome, and thank you for uh, having us on your show. You're welcome. Bye-bye.